We're gonna take a look at how to practice our correct basic form off drops. And for those of you who are more advanced, we're gonna introduce the idea of practicing a double drop. If you're just getting started with this, we wanna start on terrain that's, that's pretty tame and, and pretty chill. So maybe start with a curb, maybe a drop, something that's six to eight inches high. And as you approach, one of the key things here is that we just want to have a nice, relaxed, neutral standing posture as we approach until just before the drop edge here. So what we're going to see here is that I'm just approaching in my thrown position. I haven't really done anything yet at all. Now, <clears throat> I've got some cones set up to help remind me when I'm going to move so that I don't move too soon or don't move too late. And what we see here is that right at the drop edge, I've got my drop edge cones, my red cones. And then I've also got some cones set up here that are going to help remind me when I'm going to shift forward at my knees. By shifting forward at the knees, I'm going to create elbow bend, which is going to allow me then to scoot rearward at the drop edge and allow my hands to create pressure in the fronts of the handlebars, keeping the front end elevated off the drop edge. So as I come toward here, I'm simply going to be moving forward at the kneecaps here about a, just over a bike length away from the drop. So here I'm shifting rapidly forward and collecting my arms. So essentially by moving forward at the knees here, not at the hips so much, but at the knees, I'm creating elbow bend. So that elbow bend now is going to give me a place to move rearward. So I'm moving forward all the way toward the drop edge. Notice that I'm still moving forward. Now when the front wheel, the, the front of the front wheel is breaking the plane of the drop. So, so what we see here is the front of the front wheel here, breaking the plane of the drop. I'm going to start my shift rearward all right so right here i'm going to be starting to shift rearward and i'm going to be shifting rearward all the way until the back wheel is on the edge of the drop i'm going relatively slowly here so i'm having to shift a lot this is going to change with your speed if you're not going this slowly you're not going to be shifting as much this is actually a pretty challenging situation because i'm forced to go slowly because i'm actually working into a more advanced situation here all right so here i've got full arm extension we can really see that quite clearly Arms are fully extended, and what that's, what that's basically doing is it's creating pressure into the fronts of my hands here. So I've got good pressure into the fronts of my hands, and that's really going to be what returns the bicycle underneath me, which is what we're going to see next. So that pressure in the fronts of the hands naturally puts my body right over the bottom bracket for my landing. So I'm in a perfect thrown position once again. So again, we'll just run through that correct basic form, which is what we call this, this technique here at Fluid Ride. So... Coming in, starting neutral, about a bike length away, I start to shift forward at the knees. As I get to the drop edge, as the front wheel breaks that plane, I'm gonna shift rearward. I'm gonna be shifting rearward all the way till the back wheel is on the edge of the drop, at which point the pressure in the fronts of my hands pulls the bike back underneath me. Now, for those of you who are more advanced and you wanna do a double drop, from here, I need to reload. So you can see here that as I'm landing, I'm almost immediately moving forward to get ready for the next drop so that I can shift rapidly rearward off the second drop. Okay, so that happens pretty quickly here. So we'll just take another look through at the double drop, calling out some of these things. So notice here that my line of vision is lined up, looking where I want to go as well. That's super important. So as I come through, Shifting rearward, again here, I've got a lot of pressure into the fronts of the hands, and that basically allows the bike to be returned directly underneath me here. I land in a nice neutral position, immediately shifting forward for the next drop, and then rapidly shifting rearward off drop two. Okay. Got a little bit of a rear wheel first landing there, which isn't totally optimal, but this is an advanced drill, and this is actually uh, fairly challenging even for me. So go out and give us a try. Uh, be sure you start small. Be sure you start with a single drop. For those of you who are more advanced, feel free to bring this into the double drop.